Hey everyone, Will Parker here, back with another Freestyle Friday, the segment where I completely improvise a song based off things y'all have suggested. So if you want to know what this song is about, check the description for the list of topics. I'm not going to say them now because we don't have time to spare. Here we go. Oh, it was a few weeks back. There was a terrible attack. That's right, the disco goats had their disco ball stolen. They were dancing, rolling around, having pretty fun with some tires they found and dancing all out in the open. But when they realized the disco ball has vanished, they weren't sure what to do, plus they were feeling famished. So they decided to go down the lane to try to find a detective. They were feeling insane, cause the disco ball was there for a second. But then when they looked back, it was gone. They said, I reckon that maybe someone took it and we should find it out. What, could this mystery be solved? No doubt. So they went to the only detective in town, who was a chicken wearing a nightgown but also a detective hat with a magnifying glass too. It was Detective Chicken ready to solve the mystery, dude. So the disco goat said to the chicken, Can you help us find our disco ball? And the chicken said, Let me think about it. And the chicken said, Yes, I know that this mystery can be solved, but first, we better put on PPE, cause there's a pandemic on, you see. I suggest that we all dress like Darth Vader. Maybe except without the lightsaber. That will help us be protected from the virus and will be respected by the people who will see we're considerate because we're wearing masks and not just masks, but a whole uh, costume. I admit it might be over the top, but it might seem drastic. But honestly, I think this PPE could be fantastic. And then we could solve the mystery safely. It'll be fantastic and I'm greatly pleased with how uh, we're approaching this whole situation. So Detective Chicken, after using some wet wipes, decided to get his cat to help sniff out the fight. And uh, the cat was on a leash and the disco goats said that was kind of weird. But then the chicken stared at the goats until he grew a beard. They were all very impressed with this chicken beard. They knew he was probably wise and maybe even a wizard chicken detective or, or something like that. And Detective Chicken said, I know this might be hard, but I'm pretty sure we might find the disco ball buried in the yard. So they started digging holes and they dug, dug for hours and hours, but all they found was some top ramen and a few dead flowers. They were feeling discouraged. They weren't sure what to do. The detective chicken, I said, I know, let's check the zoo. So they went to the zoo, and the first animal they saw were some carrier pigeons. And they said, I think they could help us solve this mystery. So they said to the pigeons, can you help us out? You see, I'm a detective chicken, and we gotta find the disco ball. It's a very hard mystery to solve. And the carrier pigeons thought for a moment, and they said, how about you ask the penguins? They're over there in their parkas, and they, they might have uh, some medicine that could help you if you're feeling sick. And the detective chicken said, no, no, we're looking for a disco ball. We all feel totally fine. In fact, we're dressed up like Darth Vader, so there's no way we are getting sick with our immense PPE. Did I say that right? Is it PPE? Okay. So anyway, they asked the penguins and parkas if they could help too, but suddenly this donkey came and pinned a tail to you. And they were feeling off and feeling kinda lost, and then they saw the ghost exhibit and they, well, they they were like, man, what did this cost? Because I'd never seen a goat before. And the goat said, boo, 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 boo. We, we can help you if you're looking for the disco ball. You're going to have to jump in the car, and it might be drastic, but you'll go far. You might get stuck in traffic, and you might say darn, but that's okay. Just follow the yarn, the ghost yarn of wonder. 
it's blue and red. And if you follow the ghost yarn of wonder, you will find the disco ball. So they did this, but instead of finding the disco ball, they found a very strange Australopithecus, are you even into this? I'm talking about a southern ape and can you even express that this monkey was at the end of the yard and the monkey, the Australopithecus, said, I come to cause no harm at all. I come to help you out and I think that ball will be found if you just follow me. So we said, okay, Australopithecus, let's see. And Australopithecus said, monkey see, monkey do. If you wanna find this disco ball, I'm pretty sure, who? You need to ask. I'm pretty sure I know who you need to ask. I know who you need to ask. I'm pretty sure I know who you need to ask. Well, who do we need to ask? You have to ask Fern the Fox. I think that the fox would talk. Let's jump in the car. And they said, no, we can't because we lost the keys. And the Australopithecus said, follow me. And the Australopithecus dug a hole and we all went down just like we were moles. And we started digging for days and eventually we came upon a maze. It was also very confusing and very hard to find, but at the end of the maze, it blew our minds as it was Fern the Fox with the blankie sucking the thumb. It was a baby boy fox, man, it was fun. And we asked the fox, could you just Please help us out to solve this mystery. We hired a private eye, but all the chicken's been doing is eating lemon meringue pies, and we're not even sure if maybe that's a disguise. And Fern the Fox says, you're right. In fact, that chicken is no chicken. That chicken is actually a fat bear. They stripped off the mask from the deceitful chicken And there was a very fat bear there It was fat bear week, so I guess they weren't surprised But admittedly, everyone was a little scared And the fat bear, who they thought initially was a chicken but was actually a bear Said, well I know I've led you off everywhere To try to find your disco ball, but guess what? Disco goats, I took your ball to Antarctica because man, that thing floats. You stole the disco ball the whole time and you were leading us around like you were actually trying to help us to find it, but really you took the disco ball to Antarctica? How could you do to this to us, Detective Chicken? I mean, actually, Fat Bear? And the Fat Bear just sat back and sang silly things like sparkly rings on toes that like to dance and sing. I'm talking about silly things like sparkly rings on toes that like to dance and sing. And that's uh, that's why I did it. And uh, plus I, I uh, wanted to enter the Great British Bake Off and I thought that maybe um, in Antarctica I could learn some amazing recipes that could help me win the competition. The disco go goats, while they were pretty mad, they said, you know what? I." At least we know where it is now. We can go find it. We can recover it. And they did. They took the trip. And well, I admit, it was a pretty amazing party. Once they got the disco ball back and they were dancing with their bodies, especially the Australopithecus, Australopithecus, are you even into this? The Australopithecus insists that you dance with the disco goats too. It's pretty fun and I think we should do everything that we mentioned. Did I say all the topics? I'm pretty sure I did. Did I miss anything? Was I off at all? No, I think I got him. That's pretty cool, man, but nine minutes long, if you've stuck it out this much, congrats to you because I don't know if I would watch the whole thing. But it's over now. Australopithecus, 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 are you even into this? Australopithecus, 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 are you even into this? Australopithecus, Australopithecus. That's it.